Thousands of Egyptians took part in Friday morning prayers, a calm belying what would become another violent day. There were clashes across the country Friday. Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood called for a day of rage following the deaths of more than 600 people Wednesday. Protesters launched their demonstrations in defiance of a military-imposed state of emergency. Friday morning, the military sealed off Cairo's Tahrir Square in an effort to prevent demonstrations. That didn't stop tens of thousands of people from marching on other neighborhoods in the capital. As the day wore on, military helicopters circled overhead. Residents furious with the Brotherhood protesters pelted them with rocks and glass bottles. The two sides also fired on one another, sparking running street battles. By evening, dozens of protesters and police lay dead. Three floors of a Cairo commercial building were in flames. In some places, armed civilians manned impromptu checkpoints. They banned Brotherhood marchers from approaching and frisked people. The scenes highlighted how deep divisions in Egypt have become. Egypt has been in turmoil since Morsi was removed from power by the military last month. In light of the recent violence, two influential Republican senators are urging the U.S. to stop sending $1.3 billion in annual aid to Egypt. Thursday, President Barack Obama scrapped plans for joint military exercises but did not discuss ending assistance. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.